Hello guys, this is Anikit. Uh, this is my first video on my YouTube channel and I hope you like it. Uh, so today basically we are going to talk about the FPS recall system which we see in different types of games like Call of Duty, Apex Legends and all. Uh, we will be trying to create a fully procedural workflow uh, re for recoil. It will be fully code based. There is a, not a single uh, thing to do related to animations. So we can even adjust the values of kickback, rotations and all. And uh, uh, here is example what we are going to create like this it will be fully procedural you can even change the values it has got uh, different uh, parameters such as um, recoil x recoil y recoil z in different directions even the kickback suppose i put it to one there will be a huge amount of kickback and if i put it to uh, suppose uh, 0 0.3 it will be a little more natural we can even control the rotations along z axis x axis y axis even the snappiness how quick it's going to snap to the new position and the return how what what speed is going to return back so this is the thing that we are going to create uh, you need to get your own models if not you can comment down below i will uh, make these models available for you first basically we will start with our set setup our setup consists of a main FPS player, which consists the movement script, rigid body, and capsule collider. Inside that, we have our body, uh, which you don't need if you don't have a lean type. Uh, I have put a lean script on this so that it will lean left and right. You don't need if you don't have a lean. You can directly put your cam holder inside the main body. Below that, we have got a cam holder, which consists of our FPS loop script, which will, if you don't have a FPS loop script, tell me down in the description i will make it available for you and uh, basically uh, put a tutorial for this also and uh, below the cam holder we have a camera and inside camera we have our uh, weapons as you can see this uh, it's uh, inside our camera this weapon has our procedural recoil script and our suit script uh, so we will look at our procedural recoil script right now As you can see, our uh, recoil script is open. We have few parameters and variables here. Let's get started with our vector 3 positions. Our position consists of our uh, position or rotation basically, it, there are both in this. Uh, so we have a current rotation, which is uh, which is going to happen in real time. Our target rotation, our target position, current position and initial gun position which is going to store the initial gun position before uh, uh, this program started running we also have uh, three variables for uh, recoil in x, uh, x direction, y direction, z direction the rotations actually and we have a kickback in z direction we only put in z because we want to kick back in back side not in left or right or front side that's why we put recoil in z only this will be linear this is not rotational uh, then we have our uh, parameters for snappiness and the demand, uh, return amount return amount is the speed at which the gun will come back to its original pose and the snappiness is the speed at which the gun will uh, go to the current position at the, the speed at which the gun will go to current position so at the start we will initialize our gun initial initial gun position with our transform dot local position it's going to store our initial position for our gun and it's basically for position not for rotation uh, so we will now go to update as you know update is called once per every frame and it might even be called thousand times two thousand times uh, per frame per second so that's why uh, we use here vector three dot learn it is a interpolation type uh, method it will uh, smooth the flow of uh, the gun rather than getting it jittery so we will set the target rotation to always go from target rotation to the initial position that is vector 3.0 and the speed will be time dot delta time into the remand, uh, return amount the speed at which it will return then we will set the current rotation which is vector 3 dot slurp which is basically uh, interpolation in arc type motion which will go from current rotation to target rotation at the speed of time of fixed time dot fixed delta time into snappiness so that the speed will be regular not uh, a variable type 
see as you can see we are going from current rotation to target rotation and then from target rotation to original rotation it will have a much uh, smoothing effect and the result will be much smoother and now we will set the variables uh, to our local rotation so here transform dot local rotation will be quaternion dot euler which is used to convert our three uh, 3d vector 3 which is a position into angles so we use quaternion dot euler and we will put the current rotation inside it and which in fact will the then the gun will move from current rotation to target rotation and then finally to vector 3 dot 0 this back is uh, just for uh, uh, linear interpolation or uh, kickback require this is for uh, kickback and it's uh, just uh, in z direction the, and this will, this will use the kickback z direction and above this script wait by mistake i did this also and this uh, upper part will control the rotation and this this function <coughs> will control the uh, a backward kickback this basically we are doing the same thing as done in rotation we are saying uh, we are taking target position uh, setting uh, that target position will move to initial gun position we are not using vector 3.0 here because the initial angle will be zero in local position but position is not zero it will stick to the ground so that's why it is initially having some offset from the ground before so that's why we are storing initial position here and using it here instead of vector 3 or 0 and the speed will be same as uh, return amount due time to delta time and everything is same here just like that the <coughs> instead of position it will come rotation and now and this will always try to bring bring the gun back to its original position so we have to change also the position according to the uh, when we fire so here is the recall script we make it available publicly so that it could be it could be accessed in other uh, scripts such as in a uh, gun mechanism or shooting scripts like as you can see here every time i shoot it will call the recoil dot recoil recoil is basically i i created a variable of class type recoil here somewhere where is it here procedural recoil script here i created this here and uh, let's move back to our recoil script so every time I, the recoil script will, uh, this recoil function will be called we will set the target position minus equal to uh, backward uh, kickback this will be linear in backward direction the kickback at which the rate at which it's going to come backward towards uh, the camera this uh, is for position not for rotation so we are subtracting it in the z direction and this one controls the rotation this uh, target rotation so we need it to move upwards so we are going to add it and we are creating a new vector 3 each time and this recall script is called and we will keep the x rotation to be fixed because we don't want it to have a variable upward recoil and the left and the right side rotational recoil will be in range between minus of recoil y and, and uh, y and same for z direction minus of z and z and just for uh, testing purposes i put it at debug.log you don't need to put it here so like this uh, our recall script is done so now we are going to attach this script to our unity game object as you can see i i already have attached here this and uh, in camp transform position we also have a camp transform position which i forgot to tell you here might be where uh, 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 here public transform camera because main thing is uh, we are recalling the camera also backward so there is a recoil type effect uh, so we will bring our camera here and uh, we will put the values i already have the values here set for me just for this gun Recoil minus 2, y is 2, z is 7, and kickback is 0 0.2, snappiness is 5 and 8. And if we now start it, every time I shoot, it will be kicking back and it's a fully procedural. If I keep on holding it, it will be an up, it will go on upward, and up to some extent, it will stop going upward, and just there will be a lot of recoil. If I stop, it will go back to its initial position, and there is tap function also, just tap. 
and you can make it really beautiful by adding muzzle effects bullets changing the environment it will look much better so that's all i hope you like it if there is and uh, sorry for my bad english my english is not that great i hope this script helped you if you have any type of uh, confusion you can ask me in the comments and if you need a smooth fps um, smooth fps looking script just like here it it has a smooth look animation there is no jittery motion in this so if you want uh, this uh, a tutorial on this i will also do that just comment it below thanks for watching and if you like it a like would be appreciated and thank you have a great day